Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be implementing one amazing project called uh, number plate detection using OpenCV. So here actually, uh, we can implement this project by writing some line of code. And uh, this is going to be amazing guys, uh, because uh, here uh, actually what we are gonna do, let me tell you. So basically here, we'll be building one system, okay? So it would be able to uh, detect your uh, current number plate, okay? And uh, it will give you that number plate uh, like you can say uh, portion okay see this is the uh, this is the car this is the entire car and this is the number plate and it will return uh, this uh, like portion of your number plate okay that means your ROI reason of interest then uh, what we are gonna do we are gonna apply OCR that means optical character recognition then we'll be also extracting the so we'll be also like you can say extracting these numbers from the plate itself okay so here uh, basically this is uh, going to be one amazing experiment uh, now you can tell me why I'm not using neural network, okay? Uh, why I'm using OpenCV? Uh, because see guys, uh, always you don't have to use neural network based, uh, you can say approach. Uh, if anything can be done using some sim simple approach, okay? So you can go with that. Uh, so OpenCV has like lots of hard cascade uh, model and it's like very lightweight. Although it's like hard coded, but uh, it will work, okay, in some cases. So uh, I was like doing some experiment uh, using OpenCV hard cascade model, okay, on this uh, car number plate detection and it was giving me the good result results okay so that's why i thought let's uh okay use open cb okay although i've created a lots of uh, like you can say a neural network based approaches also in my youtube channel if you see i have used yolo v5 yolo v6 yolo v7 even uh yolo v8 also recently i have created okay so you can check out those videos uh but it is for those uh like uh, who actually wants to like learn about the project okay uh, uh, for those actually who are uh, starting with the coding okay so it will give so it will give a lots of motivation of okay to them like uh whenever they will be learning these kinds of uh, uh, like you can say project okay and uh, nowadays actually open cv is being used by the industry itself uh okay now if you see uh like over the internet okay uh, like people are using open cv uh, like very broadly now you can ask me what would be the use case of this project so uh, it's like very simple suppose uh uh, now now it is like there are lots of traffic so uh what uh, suppose uh, if i assign you one task like you need to collect all the like you can say car numbers okay and it is store uh, th those number okay in some like uh, database or in some notes so that uh, we can use these are the numbers uh, you can say later on so what you will do you will uh, like uh, observe all the car manually you will write down okay all these numbers and you will note down each and everything but uh, we can automate this task nowadays actually if you see uh, on the traffic roads okay there would be lots of cc cameras okay so if we can uh, implement desert the project if we can uh, you can say install desert the project on the cc camera so what it will do it will automatically extract this car information okay this car number plate and it will all, uh, like automatically extract this uh, text from the plate itself okay and it will store to the database so we can automate this entire system using this computer vision okay so you can consider uh, this is one of the you can say use cases of this project okay now you can consider like lots of use cases but uh, as of now let's consider these use cases okay so yes guys i think you uh got it uh what would be the agenda okay from this video so now instead of talking too much let's start with our implementation so guys uh i have created one uh, folder here called number plate uh, okay so this is my project folder so here actually i'll be opening my terminal so i'm expecting you have already anaconda installed in your system okay uh, if you don't have you can check out my video i have already shown like how to install anaconda and all okay and you can install your anaconda you can configure okay so here basically first of all we need to create one virtual environment uh so if you don't know about virtual environment virtual environment is an environment okay uh so it, it uh, like allows you to create uh like the environment with any kinds of you can say python version okay so here basically i'm currently using uh, python 3. Uh, you can say 9 okay in my uh like uh, default anaconda but I want to use Python 3.7, okay, for this project. So for that, I need to create one virtual environment, okay? So to create the environment, what you need to do, just write conda and create, okay, hyphen n, just give the name of your environment. Let's give uh, number, okay, because uh, you can give any number, like I'm just giving number, okay? And here you can mention the Python version. So here I will just write Python equal to 3.7, okay? And here just like give I hyphen y, okay? Now if you hit enter, so it will uh, start creating the environment, okay? So guys, as you can see, our environment creation is done. Now I need to activate the environment. For this, this is the command, okay? Just write run. So I'll just write conda, activate uh, number. Okay, now if you see uh, this Anaconda 3 would be changed by number. Okay, now that means our environment has been activated. Okay, 
now here basically uh, if so now here what i need to do i need to open my vs code so i'll open my vs code i will just write code dot uh, you can manually also open your vs code or whatever like code editor you are using but i mean i will be using vs code okay so here uh, first of all i will be creating one uh, file called requirement.txt so i'll just write require men dot txt okay sorry it would be txt okay so here actually i'll be mentioning uh like requirement so here uh, i'll be using open cv so i need I, I need to mention open cv here so here you just need to write open cv okay open cv python that's it now press ctrl s okay now i'll open my terminal and what i need to do i will just write pip install hyphen r requirement.txt so it will install opencv okay in this environment so guys as you can see installation is done okay now let's clear the terminal so if you want to test uh, whether you have successfully installed opencv or not so for that let's create one file here called uh, number let dot py okay so here let's import opencv uh, i will just write cv2 that's how you import opencv and i'll just write paint uh, running okay now if, if it is printing running that means everything is fine so here uh, let's execute this uh, file i'll just write python number plate dot py see guys it's printing running okay that means it has installed uh, successfully okay now uh, what i need i need one hard cascade model okay so for that uh, uh, uh i have already uh, downloaded this model so let me show you so i will just create one folder called uh, model okay inside that i will uh, like paste this uh, file okay so this is the xml file if i show you if i open this one using notepad plus plus okay so this is the hard cascade actually algorithm so it is like hard coded value everything is like is like hard coded here okay so if you are using open cv so you have this kinds of hard cascade like model so the name of like hard cascade model is like hard cascade russian plate number xml okay so how i i i got this uh, like file okay so you can get this at the file okay from the internet itself for that what you need to do just uh, search by the name i'll just copy the name okay now uh, if you come to google and just paste the name okay uh, now just write uh, download okay so if you just search it so you will get some of the github url just open this up and here if you see if you just go to the hard cascade so this kinds of file actually you will get so what you can do you can download a zip file okay and you can extract this uh, uh, like you can say uh, xml file okay and you can just keep it inside your model folder so for me i have already kept okay i've already kept so now uh, what i need to do first of all let me uh, like uh, turn off my camera because uh, here actually i'm using opencv and i will be opening my camera okay so if it is already open so it will give error okay so first of all let me like uh, close my camera so here first of all i'll be defining one variable called har cascade okay so here i just need to mention the model path so let's mention the model path so it is inside this uh, what you can do you can just uh, copy the path copy relevant path and just paste it here okay and uh, instead of forward slash just uh, instead of backward slash just give forward slash okay now what i need to do i need to read my camera so i'll just write cap dot cv2 uh dot video capture so here i will give zero okay so it will use my default camera actually i'm using uh, like multiple camera so if you have multiple camera you can change the id so i'm giving zero let's see which camera it will access okay so now i need to set uh you can say uh my window uh, like you can say width and height so what i will do i'll just write cap dot set uh so let's give uh 
so basically what is three three is your like you can say a width okay so uh, width id is three so here now mention your width so i'll just give six uh, four zero and uh for my height it would be i think uh four okay uh, so here i will mention uh 480 okay so this is my width uh this is my width okay and this is my height okay so now what i need to do i need to mention one while loop while is equal to a uh, while true okay so here first of all i need to uh, like get the frame so here how it will return you it will return two things one is like your success uh, success uh, statement and your image frame i'll just write cap dot read okay so now what i need to do i need to load my r cascade model so for that let's create one variable called plate uh, cascade okay uh, here there is a method inside cb2 uh, which is nothing but cascade uh, classifier okay so inside that you just need to pass your hard cascade model file path that's it so it will load your uh, cascade model uh, now uh, what i need to do i need to also load my image as a gray gray scale okay so i'll just write image gray because if you don't know your uh, like uh, this uh, hard cascade actually accept this grayscale image okay instead of rgb image okay so it should be gray so i'll just write i'll just convert my uh, you can say uh, rgb image to grayscale so for that what i will do i'll just write cv2 dot cvt color that means uh, convert color okay so here i need to pass my image the image i'm getting okay the frame i'm getting now here I just need to write cv2 bgr to gray okay cv2 color uh, bgr to gray but means you are uh, like converting your rgb or bgr whatever to gray scale image okay now uh, what you need to do you need to uh, like uh, you need your plate coordinates now what you need you need your plate coordinates so how you can get your plate coordinates so i'll just write plate so i'll just call this math uh, variable okay so inside that actually there is a method called detect uh, multi-scale okay i think multi-scale so here basically i need to pass my this uh, grayscale image okay and it will take two more argument uh, so it's a default number okay uh, you can get it from opencv documentation if you're uh, like loading any uh, like you can say hard cascade model okay so uh whenever you are trying to get the coordinates that means the detection so at that time you need to pass uh, some of the argument so they're telling like just by default keep it as 1.1 okay and uh the second one just keep it as four okay you can play with this parameter but uh i was doing some experiment okay this two value was giving the good answer okay so now uh, it will return my uh, like uh you can say number plate coordinates okay this uh, coordinates now i need to go through one for loop so for uh it will return me four things x y okay x coordinate y coordinate and your width and height okay so this uh, four information it will give uh, in my plate so i'm actually looping on my plates okay then uh, what i need to do i need to mention what area okay if i show you that uh, image again so guys uh if you see the image carefully so basically this uh plate has one area okay so it depends upon the country okay so like in different different country your car plate like you can say area would be different okay suppose in bangladesh it might be different in india it might be different okay uh in us it might be different so uh like whichever country you are living okay whichever country you are considering the car so with respect to that you need to select the area okay so in this uh video actually i'm just considering like like image related car okay and i was just checking the you can say area uh it was around you can say uh, uh like 500 okay mean area is equal to five 500 around okay but whenever you are trying to building this actual project 
try to like uh, get the area of a number plate okay with respect to that you can set this uh, statement okay but uh, as of now let's take it as area is equal to 500 okay uh, now what i will do i'll come here so here i will mention uh, one variable called mean area okay here i will just give 500 uh yeah now there actually i will uh calculate the area so i'll just re write area equal to if you know how to create the uh, how to calculate the area so we just uh, multiply our width and height okay it will return me the area so now i will do one if statement so here i will do one conditional statement if my area uh area is uh, greater than my mean area okay so if it is greater okay if it is greater than my mean area so i can consider it's it's the number plate okay if it is less than then i can consider it's a number plate because i know my uh, number plate uh, area should be like that okay if it is not matching that that means it's not it's not the number plate okay it might be other number plate okay suppose there are many vehicles okay if i talk about motorcycle or any any vehicles okay so this area should be uh, like you can say different okay at that point of time so that's why i'm checking the statement if my area is greater than mean area that that means i'm considering it's a car number plate okay so now if it isn't like you can say greater than uh, your area mean area so what i will do i will detect the you can say number plate so for this i'll, I'll just write one uh, so for this actually i will create one rectangle i will create one detection boundary so i'll just write cv2 dot rectangle okay so here first of all you need to pass your image like which image actually you want to draw a rectangle and here you, you need to give the minimum coordinate point of your rectangle okay which is nothing but x and y and uh, also you need to give the maximum uh, like you can say coordinate so it would be x plus uh, you can say w and uh, y plus h okay so that's how actually you can write uh this your uh, ma maximum coordinate point okay now once it is done you need to also mention the color of this uh, bounding uh, bounding box so let's give uh, this color uh let's give green color okay so 0 255 0 okay so this is the color code of uh, you can say green color like uh, the first value is r g b okay that's how we select the color now here i just need to mention the thickness okay let's give is uh, give it as two uh, now uh, once it is done then i also need to actually uh, uh, show show one you can say message okay like this is a number plate okay uh, so for this actually you can uh, write this code so basically it will show the number plate so here i'm just uh, writing put text i'm giving my image okay on top of the image it will just show number plate okay uh, that's it like this is the number plate okay so that's actually it will show so it would be clear whenever i'll be running this uh, like project okay then i'm like selecting my font like text font okay then i'm uh, giving the scale then i'm giving the color then i'm giving the thickness of this text okay so now once everything is done then uh what i i can do let's show show my image okay whether uh it's detecting perfectly or not so for this i'll just write cv2 dot i am show so here let's give one uh window name result and here I, I just need to pass my image okay then here uh, now uh, if you want to close your camera also so for that actually what you can do you can write this code so this is the default uh, OpenCV code so basically if you just press uh, Q from your keyboard okay so it will actually uh, like close all the window okay so now let's test it whether it's working or not so yeah guys uh, like that much of code you just need to write we'll add some additional code here okay because as of now we are just doing the detection now let's open my uh, command prompt and i'll just run this file python number plate dot pi so guys as you can see uh it's uh it has already opened my camera so now let's show one car image and let's see whether it is able to detect or not so i kept one car image in my smartphone okay so now let me show it here. Uh, see guys, it's detecting the plate. So let me see guys. 
is detecting okay and on top of that you can see it's showing number plate okay so now what is my task i need to extract this uh, number plate from this car okay uh, and i need to uh, save this image inside a folder okay uh, then i will be applying the ocr so let's do it so what i will do i'll just press q from my keyboard and it will uh, stop your uh, window okay so now for this what i need to do you need to write some additional code so after that what i will do um, i will create one image ry image ry means your reason of interest okay you want to like take so which is nothing but my uh this one my number plate so to get the number plate okay uh, basically here I, I i'm just doing cropping so to do the automatic cropping uh, of your detection so there is a pattern you can follow so i'll just uh, write it here so this is the pattern okay y uh, is 2 y plus h x is 2 uh, x uh, x plus w okay so if you just give this it will automatically uh, like crop those portion like your only number plate portion okay and once you get it you need to save this uh, like portion uh, inside a folder uh, so before before saving it let's show in in on our window okay so what i will just what i will do i'll just write image uh, cb2 dot uh, i'm show okay so here let's give one window message called roi and here let's pass my image roi okay that's it uh now let's check whether it's giving me that option or not let's again execute the code so guys again it has opened the camera so now let me show my okay see guys uh right hand side if you see it is creating another window and it's giving only the number number plate okay number plate image okay that's see uh it's not giving my entire car it's giving that portion okay so now uh, what i need to do i need to save this uh, uh like uh, uh this image okay inside a folder so that i can uh, apply ocr on top of that again i will press q it will stop the execution so to save this one uh i prepared one code so what you just need to do here so instead of break here so what i uh, what you will do instead of pressing q if i press s from my keyboard okay so it will save the image so for that you just need to mention this code so basically uh what i need to do i need to create one folder here uh, let's create outside so i'll just write plate okay plates and uh, now let's change it here okay inside plates it will save your image as a scanned image okay and it will make one count like uh, like what it will do if you just press s it will save one image again if you press uh, s okay it will save i uh, uh another image okay that's actually it will uh, like keep on saving okay and it will assign one count so we haven't mentioned the count so here we, we can mention the count so i'll initially mention the count equal to zero okay so now uh once it is done and it will show one message also like image has been saved here okay so now let's test it whether it's working or not so i will again execute the code So guys, uh, now let's uh, show my image again. See guys, uh, it's detecting the plate. Okay, now if I press S from my keyboard, see it, it's telling plate saved, okay? If I press it again, okay? It will tell uh, play, plate saved. If I again click, okay? That's actually if you press uh, S from your keyboard, it will uh, save all the plate image okay now if i show you let me press q so it should uh... okay uh now to stop your uh, code you just need to press ctrl c on the keyboard it will stop the execution now if i come inside plate uh folder now see guys it has saved all the scan images okay see guys okay so now uh, i just need to apply ocr on top of that 
So for that, what I will do, I already prepared one. Uh, this is the notebook, guys. So here I'll be using easy OCR. So first of all, let's connect our notebook. It's connecting. Okay, now, first of all, let me install easy OCR. So it will install the easy OCR. Now here, first of all, let's import. So basically here I was testing this easy OCR using some other image. So that's why it's showing here. So now actually what I will do, I will upload my image here. Okay. So I will uh, come to my uh, here and from the plate itself, let, let's let copy one uh, image. What I will do, I will just drag and drop here. Okay. So I'm just showing for one image. Okay. So uh, you can just uh, automate this thing. You just write one for loop. So it will take uh, one by one all the images and it will save in Excel file or, or in a database. Okay. You can automate this thing. So now let's, uh, uh, okay. So now let's copy the location, copy path. And here I will give. Now, if I uh, execute this cell, okay. It will show that uh, image here, okay. Now, first of all, to use easy, uh, easy OCR, okay. You just need to like initialize the reader. So here it is a English text, okay. So that's why I'm giving English language. So easy OCR supports like multiple languages, okay. Uh, with respect to your language, you can select. So I'm using English language. Okay. So here, that's why I'm uh, like uh, downloading this uh, uh, English reader. Okay. So see, it's downloading. So once uh, in a uh, reader has been initialized, then I just need to pass this uh, image location. Okay. To my read text here. Now, if I uh, execute this cell, so it will give me the output. Okay. Now, if I show you, show you the output, okay. Now, guys, if I show you that image, see, guys, it is successfully extracting this text M Y seven zero, okay, M Y seven zero B B M N, okay. Uh, although, see, it's giving some wrong prediction because this is like a little bit uh, a blower image, okay. Uh, but uh, if you're like uh, showing this image carefully, okay, if it is not blowered, then it will give good results, okay? So some of the mistake you may get, but uh, don't worry. I just uh, only showed you the process, how you can do it, okay? Uh, if you just uh, try it with other images, okay, it will work fine. I was testing and it was giving me good good results, okay? Now what you can do, you can extract this text, okay? And you can save in a database, okay? Like for this card, this was the number, okay? For this card, this was the number. That's how actually you can keep on saving, okay? Instead of manual observation, now you actually you have automated this thing, okay? So now uh, I, I just want to give you one uh, assignment, okay? So what you can do, uh, you can uh, like uh, automate this entire system, okay? Just try to add easy OCR in this number plate also, okay? So once I am pressing this S, uh, so what it will do, instead of just uh, saving, okay, inside the folder, it will also extract the text and it will also save so save to a excel file okay and it will give me the excel file okay at the last so that's how actually you can do it okay so yes guys i think uh i am done with this implementation okay this is all about the project and it's like very easy to implement okay this project i think uh, i uh, i think you got it like the overall idea like how to implement this uh this kinds of project okay so guys if you like this video so try to subscribe to my channel okay try to share this video so if you want this kinds of project more, just let me know. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.